Hi, in this video we're going to be dealing with voltage dividers. Here I've drawn up a few voltage dividers and, uh, and I'll explain what they are. So here you have uh, some circuit and essentially what a voltage divider is is just a circuit that splits up the, the voltages. So here you're going to notice R1 and here you're going to notice R2 and the voltage of the supply is going to be split up between these two resistors. and and that's exactly what a voltage divider does. Now here I wrote uh, the same circuit a little bit differently because um, some books will write it differently so I don't want you to look at this and be like oh my gosh uh, what is this? But this is what they're telling you here is this is the voltage in at this point right here and this is R1 and R2 and these two are just splitting up the voltage so R1 is going to drop some of the voltage and R2 is going to drop some of the voltage and this symbol right here is the symbol for ground and that just indicates that this is what closes the loop. So this is actually exactly the same thing as this. So this bottom wire is just not shown here, but that's the same thing that it means. Um, I also wrote it down here. So these, uh, so this one right here where I have uh, this power supply, and I also put the ground here and the ground here, and it's pretty much the same thing as this one up here. Uh, the only difference is I just added this symbol to indicate the power supply and I put the ground here uh, but you know it's 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 no different than uh, than these other ones it's just that it's just written differently but it indicates the same thing uh, and in this one the voltage is just going to be split up between the three resistors so each one of them is going to depending on what the resistance is will separate the voltage differently um, and here I wrote this one over here and it's and I just wrote it differently just so you could uh, have different pictures of what they, how you might see the circuits. And, and you know, it just, you, you, you troubleshoot it exactly the same. It's just, it's just written differently. So just don't get too hung up on that. And so here, uh, I wrote this one in this form. And what you might sometimes see is that they'll call this the resistor that they want to, that they want to take the voltage off of. They'll call it the load. So here I wrote RL to indicate the load. Um, and they'll say, okay, well, what's, what's the voltage on the load? So they'll, they'll write uh, VL on it, and they'll, they'll put these two probes right here and right here to tell you where they're going to take the voltage reading at. And so and the way you solve for the voltage on this load is you just put the resistance of the load divided by R1, which is this one, plus R RL, or the resistance of the load. <laughs> And you just multiply that by the total volt, or the total voltage, or the voltage of the supply. And uh, another way to do it, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. Is if here for this one, I wrote it like this because this, we're solving for the voltage on the load. But what you do is you you put the resistance that you want up top here. So if I wanted to solve for the the voltage on R1, I would have put R1 up here. But since I wanted the resistance on this load, I put RL up here. And then it's just really divided by the total voltage, or the total resistance, I'm sorry. So it's the resistance you want, which was RL in this case, divided by the total resistance of the circuit. So that's what this is here. And you just multiply that by the total voltage, and that'll give you the voltage of this load, or the voltage of whatever you want, actually, in this for this type of circuit. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please like it. And... Uh, yeah, so just check out my next video. So have a good day and good luck in your classes.